Japan has just expelled one of its MPs because he hasn't shown up for a single day of work. He's apparently been in Dubai since before he was even elected last year, afraid that if he returns to Japan, he will be arrested for fraud. And it gets better. The now ex-MP in question is a popular YouTuber called Gassy. His real name is Yoshikazu Higashitani, and since the 1950s, something like this has only happened twice. Of course, prior to the 1950s, Japan was still under occupation following World War II, so really, this has only happened twice since Japan has been operating under this type of government. And what's even more interesting is that Japan has a bicameral parliamentary system with an upper and a lower house just like how we have the Senate and the House of Representatives. This guy was elected to the upper house, not the lower house. Now that said, Japan has more than two parties, even though they've essentially been governed by a single party since 1955. Not all political parties have representation in the legislature, and some, like Gassi's party, only has representation in one of the two houses. Now, Gassi was a controversial figure before any of this happened. He used to be an event coordinator for celebrity events, so he had a lot of celebrity friends. But then, he fell into a ton of debt and needed to make some money, so he started a YouTube channel where he became known for his YouTube lives. He gained popularity by divulging gossip about these celebrities that he knew personally, gossip that no one else really had been privy to. Now, understandably, this made him quite a few high-profile enemies, many of them accusing him of defamation. Jump ahead to 2022, Gassi's elected to the House of Counselors with the NHK Party, also known as the Anti-NHK Party. It started off as a single-issue party, with its founder, Takashi Tachibana, taking aim at Japan's national public broadcaster, NHK. He used to work for NHK, but then he turned whistleblower when he leaked internal files documenting corruption within the organization. Tachibana started his own YouTube channel speaking out against NHK, and eventually, this grew into a pro-people, anti-NHK political party. The party finally gained a seat in the National Diet, the legislature in 2019, and in 2022, Gassi was elected as the party's MP. Now, according to Tachibana, the NHK is extorting Japanese citizens by collecting license fees from people who don't even watch the channel. The law currently states that anyone with a device capable of receiving an NHK signal on, like a television, is required to pay an NHK licensing fee. But since there isn't any real penalty for not paying the fee, the broadcasting company has basically become a debt collection agency. Tachibana wants to end this practice, which isn't unreasonable, and he alleges that NHK has outsourced its fee collection to antisocial forces, which includes the Yakuza. Now, it makes sense that a political party that gained traction through YouTube would partner with a guy like Gassi, but in electing someone who has a history of shady behavior with no experience working in a public position, the party has now lost one of its seats in the upper chamber. Now, here in the U.S., we have a strange history with electing celebrities into public office. Americans have a strange relationship to celebrity in general. YouTube wasn't around until 2005, and the idea of a YouTube celebrity or influencer was a pretty strange concept back then. Honestly, it still kind of is. YouTube, especially back then, largely featured regular people recording videos in their bedrooms. A lot of YouTube is still that. But before YouTube and its first crop of influencers, we had reality television. We had shows like The Real World and America's Next Top Model and Flavor of Love and The Apprentice. Yes, we had The Apprentice with host Donald J. Trump. Now, to be fair, The Apprentice didn't debut until 2004, just a year before YouTube became a thing. But Trump had already been a known celebrity. He wasn't exactly a normal dude carving out an entirely new modern concept. He wasn't an influencer and he wasn't trying to be one. He was a reality TV star and we were already familiar with those. YouTube still had a few years to go before, combined with more pervasive and profitable social media platforms, it would launch careers. Still, if you think about it, and maybe this is a stretch, a bunch of people who watched Trump on television for years, even prior to The Apprentice, voted for him to be their president despite the fact that he, like Gassi, had a history of shady behavior and no experience working in a public position. That would be similar to millennials voting for someone like I don't know, like Logan Paul, maybe, to be our president one day. He's something of a modern celebrity, and he has a history of shady behavior and no experience in public service. The boomers elected Logan Paul to be their president. 
At least the Japanese people who voted for Gassi didn't elect him to the highest office in the land. In fact, his election could have been seen as insignificant considering the fact that Japan's government is basically ruled by a majority party. Still, the fact that they expelled someone from office who really never should have been there in the first place is kind of impressive. Meanwhile, we still have Representative George Santos over here. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe and be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you.